Hello, my beautiful people. I'm glad to have you here on my channel. My name is Ogeri Chiyun from Abuja, Nigeria. If you're new here, you're welcome. Please subscribe and join this wonderful, healthy family. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you for being there for me. Thank you for joining me on this channel and being there. Okay, in this video, I'd like to share with you hmm, the benefits of Moringa and as as well as other stories behind this this is moringa i bought last year when uh, covid was you know at its peak and you can see the difference this one on the on my left hand is one i bought it's old and the one on the right is one i just harvested from my moringa tree in my in front of my compound Yes, see the difference. You can see that the one on the right is still very young and tender. Still has a lot of um, extra um, body around the seeds. While on the left, the seeds have mostly fallen off. I was desperate when I bought that one on my left hand from the market because of it was scarce. Usually, when the wet, um, when the weather is hot, when it's around dry season slash um, uh, hamatan period, it's always very very scarce and more expensive usually a mudu of moringa goes for 700 naira 800 naira 500 naira in those days but right now it could go when it's when it's dry season it go for up to 1500 2000 naira per mudu per mudu in Niger in abuja is about seven between seven to nine milk cups this is what it looks like on the inside. See, very fresh, regardless of how it looks on the outside. Seven to nine cup milk cups. If you don't know the difference between your moodles, if you're in Abuja, oh yeah, drop your comments below. Let me tell you what the difference is. Because some of you guys don't know, you just go and say moodu, give me one moodu. Sometimes they use eight cup moodu, sometimes they use seven cup moodu and nine cup moodu. If your eyes are, if you little anyala, if your eyes are down, you will know the difference. So this is my first harvest of moringa from the seed I planted um over a year ago. Yes, I normally go around with moringa. Moringa is my best friend when it comes to any of these health things that I use. Moringa is called magic. Um, is a magic plant from the root to the stem to the seed is highly beneficial i first found out about moringa some years back when i was at the peak of my depression uh if you're following this channel you'll get to find out more about me and my some of my um stories as well i used to i was diagnosed of anxiety depression and stress at some point in my life and that was when i first heard about this moringa and it's not like i was even searching particularly for this i had made some research online i have an article i wrote about it i'll be linking that in the description box below um i started to make research about how i can get myself healed of depression because i was placed on anti anti anti-depression antidepressants yeah which i didn't like using so by the way this is all of the harvest this all these containers are from one harvest of my moringa from the tree one two three all these three containers plus more loading i harvested them if you have space in your compound you can plant where i have planted them they disturb a lot even the leaves they hardly allow me i'll be coming to that guys let me just continue what i was saying somebody in my office then was talking about moringa and i'm like what, what? zogele because that's what it's called in the north here yeah. zogele i'm like what is zogele You're like ah hey you don't know what zogele is i said i don't know what zogele is you know moringa i said no i don't know moringa she said ha you're missing a lot and immediately i went online and i saw so it i didn't really it wasn't exciting to me at that particular point in time however i noticed that in my father's house somewhere in abuja so it's an estate you know this this plant grows like weed it grows like weeds like it's very easy to grow and if you have 
a neighbor who has moringa and somehow breeze blows the, the leaves or the seeds to your compound. If you're not careful, you have trees of moringa by the next season. <laughs> your, your compound. So I don't know. My We didn't plant it per se, but we just found it in the compound here in my father's house. And then we noticed that we just let it grow. You know, it's just a tree here. Yeah, it's not hurting anybody. And then every time... These people will come, by the way, the northerners eat this a lot. They love this moringa. You know, they do they use moringa in every almost everything that they, they, they do, right? Okay, so they will come around there because my mom has this habit of planting a lot of vegetables, ugu, okra, greens. She has a habit of having all of these things in the compound. And they will knock at the gate and like will think, okay, they say they won't leave, you know, we don't really understand how sir. So they will say, ah, they won't leave. Yeah, so 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 and so. And then we will go and pluck ogo and give to them. They'll say, No, 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 it's not ogo. We want Zogele, Zogele. I'm like, okay, which one is Zogele again? You know? And then they will point at the moringa and be like, wow, okay. And then they'll be like, no. It's not this, it's Moringa, Zogele. And then, you know, they kept on disturbing and disturbing when you are sleeping, you're having a siesta early in the morning, they come knocking because, yeah, the estate is highly regulated and people don't want to um, be caught um, taking things that from you without permission, so they would usually knock to take it. So, at some point, my mom got, my mom got really pissed off. She's like, she's tired of this disturbance and then she decided she was going to cut the tree off. Look at this one. I didn't allow it to dry properly, or I didn't. I think I have a so soon. Okay, back to the story. She cut the tree off, and then my mom was having some health issues, and she had been in and out of the hospital. And then one of her see the difference between the one that has dried properly and matured properly, and the one that has not. Okay, so this doctor friend of ours, who turned a family friend, um, recommended to her one oil. That she called moringa oil and this little bottle was about 2000 something this was like how many years ago over five years ago so i'm only wait moringa you mean moringa this is same moringa that this people came usually come to my compound to disturb me about you mean this this plant is so good as to for me as for me to buy for me to buy enough for me to buy this small chenkene bottle for two thousand plus wow the lady and um, the nurse the doctor is like or the pharmacist is like yes that's how good this moringa it is highly beneficial wow my mom was shocked and then of course she came and told us the story behind um her she told us her experience okay and then i took this particular interest in it and since I started to use Moringa, my people, my good people, uh, my life has not been the same again. I started to take Moringa. I started to take everything. I have a lot of things I do, by the way, guys. It's not only Moringa. I take, I've shared video before of Splina, which is like chlorophyll. I take, I do a lot of things when it comes to my health. I don't have, it's not a one-way traffic for me, guys. So there's no, like I said in that other video, there's no one road to on a shine. <laughs> what that means is there's no particular, um, there's no one route to being healthy. There are so many things you can do. Just choose the one that works for me, for you. If you're going to be bottling this Moringa, don't use this bottle. Use something that has a wide mouth. Except, of course, you want to be taking it out one by one when you're ready to use. Because getting it out is going to be a challenge, right? Okay. So... I've been in the market on some occasions where I, um, in the north, of course, in the village market, and you see them hawking some things like um, leaf that has been cooked and drained. And one day I asked, I heard them talking about it. I'm like, is this Zogele? The house man is like, yes, madam, this is Zogele? I said, what, what does it even do for the boy? She said, madam, haba. If you don't know this leaf, if you don't chop them this leaf, ah, but you didn't miss plenty, plenty. You see this leaf? It's good for typhoid. It's good for malaria. It's good for many things, many, many things. It's good for body very well. I'm like, wow. Okay. Anyways, another story. <laughs> a story for another day. How I use Moringa. I have a little bottle. 
um, a little container that I use for, I use, I put my Moringa in it and I carry it everywhere I go. Yes, everywhere I go. Literally everywhere I go, except maybe when I'm going to church or when I, I'm not going far. But in my office is with me anywhere I go, like I put in my handbag. So what I do is if I have my breakfast in the morning, as I'm having my breakfast, I'm chewing because the taste is a bit weird. I use the seed. The, the seed is my best friend because that's what works for me. There's also the leaf. There's also, um, yeah, you can use the leaf fresh or powdered. That's after drying, you can use it. I put it in the um, container and I carry it around. When I eat my breakfast, I pop two in my mouth. When I have lunch, I pop two in my mouth. When I have dinner, I pop two in my mouth. When I'm eating with food, I don't get to taste it directly because the taste, like I said, is weird. It's like, it tastes like, um, <laughs> let me not say what it tastes like, <laughs> but you can try it. It doesn't hurt, right? Okay. Um, the leaf, you can put it in your pap after I've grounded. You can put it in your pap, your custard, your cerilac, whatever it is. Even babies can eat it, but I would recommend if you're not sure how to use it, please avoid babies for now. Just use it for for yourself. And yeah, uh, presently I'm breastfeeding, so my baby gets to suck it from me anyways. Okay, um, I also have a daughter. I give her. She doesn't like it, but she since she learned how to eat it with her meals, she has become more comfortable eating it. I usually recommend this a lot. In my office, I'm known. They call me. <laughs> They call me what the, <laughs> our health, uh, health, uh, health health practitioner because I always preach health living anywhere that I go, right? Okay, so that is what I do for the moringa, and then for um even when I go to eat some junk food, yeah, I don't normally recommend junk food. I don't normally recommend junk food though, but if I find myself eating things like pizza. Unkwobi, hmm, I have my moringa handy. What I do is after I've just eaten, I'll just pop like two or three moringa seeds in my mouth and then I'll go and rest. <laughs> what moringa does, among others, it helps to detoxify. By the way, if you're using it for the first time, you might purge. Not everybody reacts. Your body, people's body reacts differently. You might purge because it cleanses, it cleanses, it boosts your immune system, it increases appetite i've recommended this moringa to many people including those that have hepatitis hiv high blood pressure cancer ah, these stories are numerous but i'm going to try as much as possible to summarize this story right starting with starting with the one for hepatitis meanwhile like i said i planted this in my in front of my compound this the estate where i, I stay hmm. they are not as disciplined as one where my father has his house. This one. Hmm. In fact, one day my husband got so upset he wanted to cut the tree because he was angry because one day we woke up and we found that there were no leaves on the tree anymore. <laughs> they had plucked out all the leaves and then all I had was some some of the seeds hanging, those that were not mature, and he was like, I'm going to just cut this off. But I bet I just pleaded with him not to use not just not to cut it because he's upset at what people are doing because I, it's for my own benefit and our benefits, right? So I even really don't use the seed, the leaves more. Uh, I use the seeds more. So it's, they, they normally leave the seeds for you. They'll take the leaf because they drink the water. They cook the leaf and they extract the, the water and drink. They use the leaf for cooking their soups and many things. I mean, the people in the north, they have value for this zogeli or moringa a lot how can you buy moringa you can buy moringa in the market i wouldn't recommend because i i, I preach health uh, budgeting right so if you're doing it if you if you don't have like 700 naira to or 800 naira to pay or yeah for some small container yeah or maybe 500 for something like that looks like this you go to the market and buy mood or whatever it is you they use to measure in the local in the local market that you're going on the whatever Weibo market whatever market you find yourself right um yes that's how you get it but if you are if you want more convenience fine you can find in fact i saw it on shop right um the last time i went there it's medium size this regular moi moi 
size um, plastic was going for about 700 naira. It will be more cheaper if you're going to it from the market. If you're in Abuja, you go to those people that sell Zobo. Those people that sell Zobo, clothes, um, Aya, that's Tiger Knot, all these people who sell these dried herbs and stuff like that. Even some of them sell rice and beans as well. So you get, the, you get it from them. Yeah, that's how you get it. Okay, now back to my story of people I have recommended this to. The first was somebody with hepatitis. She, she confided in me and told me she had hepatitis. I told her not to be afraid because uh, the mentality that some of these sicknesses kill is what causes people depression and they get depressed and then the matter gets worse. I asked her to eat the moringa and then she ate it. I gave her some. Like I said, I always carry it anywhere I go. So when I'm talking to people about it, I always bring it up and I show it to them. And I even eat it to them just to confirm it, right? And then after that, she called me. I'm like, you know, I've been sleeping like a small child ever since then. This is the dried moringa leaf. This is what it looks like. This is the leaf that has already been dried. So at this stage, you want to maybe blend. You can even buy the dried one from the market, but you, you may, it may be better... It may be better to dry by yourself, but don't dry directly under the sunlight, right? You want to dry in a place that is not directly under the sun to, have, to keep the nutrients in. And then this is what the fresh leaves look like. So if you don't know what Zogele is, this is what Zogele is popularly known as Moringa, the, the, the miracle seed or the miracle plant. It cures I would say everything. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I will not say everything because it depends on what you are also doing. If you're taking moringa and you're taking things that will neutralize the effect of the moringa, then you're not helping yourself, guys. So your diet matters. What you eat matters. How you go about your daily living matters also. So the lady called me. I'm like, you know, this moringa is very good. I'm going to start using it. She's in the east, and I asked her to try and find it wherever. If she could, I think she has finally got it because she called and told me that she has. I hope she's consistently using it, right? Okay, the next is somebody with cancer. A friend of mine, um, a friend to my sister, let me put it that way, was not feeling well and then he had come to Nigeria to come and die. Uh, because that was how he felt at that particular time. The leaves, you can extract it one by one like this, or you can just eat it plus the stem. Everything is plant, right? It will not hurt. It's just that when you blend it, it that part, the stem part, the tiny stem part may not come out so well, um, smoothly. But if you use a very big blender, a powerful blender, it will grind everything, to turn everything to powder. Okay, back to the cancer story. So this guy came to Nigeria to die. My sister was not in Nigeria at this particular time. And she asked to help represent her because she feels for the guy and she would like for us to, you know, just represent her and pay a visit to him in the hospital where he had been admitted to do a spinal cord um, surgery to remove two bones from the spinal cord because it had been... Cancer, it had been it had cancer he had cancer on the spinal cord he said he had started with it had started like with something like um like something like pneumonia he had been treating for pneumonia for several months or even up to year, years but eventually they found out that it was cancer of the spinal cord so i went with my younger sister to see him in the hospital and of course with my moringa in my bag always and then I went and talked to him. We prayed together. And then after praying, I told him, I tried to encourage him. And I asked him, do you know Zogele? Meanwhile, that sent a message on Facebook that if you, if you, I don't know, I'm trying to reach you. I don't have your phone number. If you get this, I have, I think I had, yeah, I had called him, but his number wasn't picking up. So I sent him a message on WhatsApp. If you see my message, please go and look for Moringa. So I told him, you saw my message. Say yeah, yeah, but I was Moringa. What was that? I'm like, yeah, Moringa. Is very beneficial. I said to talk to him about the benefits of moringa, and eventually I I ate two right there in his presence. He said, ah, "Yeah, he knows this thing now." Even his mom is like, "Ah, we know this now. This thing goes at, at our backyard now. Ah, we know it." I'm like, "Okay, fine. Why not try it?" I included. I asked him to also buy one uh, medication called Immunis. 
it's an immune booster it helps to regulate cells and do many other things that we may not know about if you have not been if you're here watching this video or listening to my voice and you don't have any health supplement you're taking with all this nyamayama in our environment and all these toxins everywhere by the way are you aware that the oxygen content in the air we breathe is used to be 21 percent that's the standard but now it's no longer up to that because there's a lot of combustion in the atmosphere there's a lot of things going on in the atmosphere trees are being felled people are burning firewood and these things causing it's not just causing global warming no it's also reducing the amount of oxygen we breathe in so how do you regulate the oxygen in the blood by the things we eat by fruits and vegetables by taking a lot of water and of course moringa and many other things you also want to take some health supplements because if you're eating fruits and vegetables when they're um shelly vegetables we cook them and they are all dead the, the amount of nutrients we get may not be as much as our body needs you might want to supplement right so immunity is a good supplement for those who are trying to boost their immune system there are also other related products including uh, which includes well woman well my well kid and so many other things i i'm not advertising for this particular brand i'm just recommending it because i have used them they work right okay so back to the story of um the cancer now i recommended it to him and I included i told him to combine units and Immunis and this moringa. I told him if you're taking your chemotherapy because he was already he had already done the surgery and was placed on chemotherapy. I told him continue with your chemotherapy. Do not stop. So if you're here, you're listening to me. You have cancer. You have HIV. You have hepatitis. You have any uh, high blood pressure, whatever disease you're suffering from. It can be cured. You can be okay. But do not stop whatever medication they have given you in the hospital. Please do not stop it. With these medications, what they do is to Put the, the disease on hold first. Hold it. Do you understand? Hold it there. The medicine is just to hold it. It's not curing. It's holding it. And when you hold it, when you're not doing other things like Moringa, taking other supplements and eating healthy, you'll be shocked at how amazing these things work and you can get your life back. If you don't hold it, it might be more difficult. So I know you believe, you, you trust in God, you have faith, you're, you're believing God for healing and all that. But guys, please, take the medication they give you in the hospital to hold it first. Let me give you an illustration. Somebody that has HIV. This virus multiplies at amazing rates. You're taking these herbs, they don't work as fast as uh, orthodox medicines. They, they work from the cell, they are better. Trust me, they are. But they are not as fast. So you want to take the medicine they give in the hospital to hold it first. You understand? To so hold it there while you're doing other things to help your body. Eventually, you get your healing with prayer and God's grace and everything. You'll be fine, right? So that's for the cancer. Do you know that I told him, do not stop your taking your, your chemotherapy. If you, if you take your chemotherapy, let's say in the tablet in the morning, let's say 8 a.m., Take your Moringa, let's say by 10 a.m. Give and your immunist by 10 a.m. Because Moringa is like food. You can take it with food. It doesn't hurt. You can even eat it with granite or biscuits. Because you have to eat it on a full, not necessarily a full stomach. Don't eat it on an empty stomach, guys, to disturb your, 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 your stomach. I took it one time when I was on my period on empty stomach. If I had taken oranges, two oranges before taking the, the uh, Moringa, oh boy, I couldn't sleep that night. It turned my entire system upside down. So don't take it on empty stomach. There's people that have go <laughs> like your body don't color that's your body don't your, your body has adjusted to <laughs> to the 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 herbs it might not affect you you may not feel anything right because i've i've taken it such that even when i take it first in the morning without food it doesn't affect me anymore but if you are a newcomer please take it with something your food in your stomach okay okay so anyway i told him take give two hours interval um just to be safe right because something like garlic if you're taking garlic it it disturbs medication so if you're taking any garlic supplement or even garlic natural garlic you should give like two hours interval between your medication um, between taking garlic and taking your medication so that you're on the safe side nothing is affected okay so i told him if you're taking your med uh, camera therapy in the morning like 8 a.m take your immunities by 10 a.m and your moringa of course 
After like two weeks, I called to check up on him. He told me, ah, now the doctor told him that he should not mind all these natural herbal things. That is just a waste of time. I said, please don't mind this man. Some of these doctors don't know. Please. If you're a doctor here or a pharmacy or a nurse, please. And this guy, I'm telling you, that had this cancer, by the way, is a nurse. So he's a nurse. He's a guy, but he's a nurse. So he didn't know. So some people don't know. While some people know, they just don't want to tell you. I'm sorry, I don't want me to hurt anybody's feelings in this video, right? Okay, I told him, please don't listen to the doctor. Just go ahead and do what I have asked you to do. So he proceeded. So after two weeks, I called to check on him. He said, okay, that the doctor said uh, that I, should. I said, please go ahead and take it to Don't mind the doctor. And then I moved on. Three months later, he sent a message, a picture of my daughter to me on WhatsApp. I'm like, ah, I don't remember this, my daughter taking this picture. He said, yeah, that my daughter was with him, with my sister, came with uh, my daughter and my, my daughter took my, my sister took my daughter to see him in the hospital one of those days I was at work. And that's where they took the picture. I'm like, okay, so how are you? How is your health? Yeah, he's like, ah, did you not tell me? I'm saying, no, you didn't tell me anything. What happened? He's like, I was at the hospital for checkup recently, and the doctor told me they didn't see any cancer in my blood. I'm like, are you serious? He said, yes. They only said they gave, they, they had, it was some anti um, bacterial infection and what, 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 or what not, and they gave him some um, antibiotics, and then he's fine. I'm like, whoa. I don't remember the name of the medication, the antibiotics mentioned anyway. He was overjoyed he said oh okay he's like oh okay i'm so happy that god used you to bless me god used you to change my story how could i have known i'm a nurse for crying out loud i'm going for thanksgiving on sunday uh, on sunday yes i would like you to please join me i want to hug you i want to i want to see i want you to see me standing because i can stand now i only regret that i did surgery to remove my bones from my spinal cord because now he needs artificial bones to replace those bones for him to be able to walk properly because he can no longer stand properly for long cannot sit for long can't run can't walk for long but he's okay and then somebody with hiv inco especially with hiv it was actually true. One of my house she told me there's a lady in their village that lady was they say she was diagnosed with HIV and that she's terrible. She looks terrible. She's dying. She looks skinny and all that. I told her go and tell her to be taking zogele and immunis. She should come back after three months and tell me what she sees. Guess what she told me that this girl nobody can even recognize her anymore. She had gained so much weight. She's looking so healthy. She's looking so good, guys. Hmm. Don't take these words for granted. The more immunes right now may be going for about between three to five thousand naira, depending on your location. There are different brands, and there are different brands. Of course, there, there are the one I'm talking about is by Vitabiotics. Um, I'll be showing you a picture of that in the in this video. Um. It doesn't have to be that there are so many things there are so many immune products you can use any one you like but this works right give it a try moringa is not expensive you can get the leave it's very handy if you're struggling with your health please do something about it don't just fold your arms and be taking orthodox meds and say everything is fine because all these drugs report in the liver they report in the kidney they report in many things and over time if you're not careful you have um, big man sickness, you know what I mean? They report in many different things in the body and that's not good. So as much as you're having health challenges, take your medications, but take natural herbs and things that can help you detoxify, remove toxins from your body, remove the negative effect of these drugs from your body. Guys, I love you. And I'm sharing this idea with you. It doesn't cost much. Um, five thousand naira. Let's say, let's assume the immunist is five thousand naira, or even the well woman is five thousand naira in a month. How much do you use for flexing? I don't hang out a lot. I don't eat out a lot. In fact, I hardly do that. So maybe the five thousand naira not may not be so much for me because if I'm to hang out or to go out or eat out. I'll be spending much more than that 5,000 naira. But here, I'm using it to help myself. 
So guys, um, I hope this video is able to help you. I think I'll be, this is all for today's video. I'll be sharing many other things that I do for my health, to help my health. Some are very affordable, some are a bit expensive, but any which way is a way. If you can afford it, fine. If you can afford it, you'll find an alternative. I share options here, alternative ways to go about living healthy, surviving on a low budget, doing things low budget at craft. I do many things. So guys, join me on this journey if you've not yet subscribed to my channel and also click on the notification bell so that you can get notified anytime I share a new post. I'll be seeing you in another video, guys. I love you. Share this video with your friends, loved ones, your family, so that they also get to hear and know what they need to do if they're having any health challenge. I'll be seeing you in another video. Drop your comments below if you have anything to say. If you have questions, ask me. Please drop your comments below. I'll be glad to read from you guys. See you in another video, guys. Until then, bye.